The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Let's teach this to you today. All right, my friends, this is what happens in the original recording. Gordon Lightfoot puts a capo on the second fret of his 12 string, but I'm going to take the capo off and show you these chords without the capo for those of you who are unfamiliar with the capo. If you want to play along with the original recording, put the capo on the second fret and play the chords as I'm going to show you. So we could play an A chord. And then an E minor chord. But I think Gordon Lightfoot actually plays, it's possibly plays an A sus2 to E minor. I like to do both of those chords with my second and third fingers. And then a G chord. Now you could play it like this, like I do. You can play it with this finger on the second fret if you want to, A string. I don't really love that low sound. I like it a little, a little more open like that with a G string, the muted A string. Uh, you can also play it like this if you want to, but I prefer this chord. And then we go to a D chord, open string D, and then to a back to an A sus2. Now in the introduction, I believe this chord is there. It's really kind of an A11. It's almost like a hybrid chord, a polychord, where you have the A string and the E string open and then these three notes, which is actually a G chord. It's the G, B, D. So it's a G chord with an A in the bass and an E on top. There's no third in it, but it's the root seven, nine, 11, and then the fifth of that A chord. So we got A sus2, E minor, G, D, A sus2. That's the verse. Let's do the introduction right now. So we're actually in six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll show you the strum in just a second. A sus2, A11, D, A sus2, A11, D, A sus2. Like that. One thing I like to do when I'm playing the A sus2, you can go to the A chord. That's a little bit cramped for me right there. So I like to do these two and then my pinky like that. Little hammer on there like that. You can also hammer on the D string like I do in my cover. You can hammer on the G string from open to two. You can actually hammer them on at the same time. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three, four. Like that. Another thing you can do if you want to, if you want to, you can play the second fret on the E string, going up to the G like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. The legend lives on from a Chippewa down of the big lake they call the Chagoon. Like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, five, six. Let's uh, show you the, the right hand now. Now let's do, uh, let's play the introduction. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
A11 to D. A11 again to D. To A sus 2 for two measures. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. The legend lives on from the Chippewa down of the big lake they call the Chippewa. Now between these verses, a lot of times he has 12 beats or two measures of six. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. The lake, it is said, never gives up the dead in the skies of November. So what I'm doing here is I always play the root note, one, two, three, four, five, six. So on the beat four, which is the second set of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, E minor, G, D. Now on that G, you only get one, two, three, and then on the D, you get one, two, three, and back to A sus two. With a load of vinyl, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald did in One, two, three, four. That good ship and crew was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. Now that's the first stanza. It's like eight different lines and then you get the next stanza. There's no introduction between those two. Second stanza. The ship was the pride of the American side, coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. Two, three, four, five. Had the big freighters go, it was bigger than most. With a crew and good captain, well seasoned. So it's interesting because there's two phrases. Right? And then sometimes he goes Now in my lead sheet I will actually point to whether he's doing the ending of that phrase going up or going down. So you will see an arrow at the end of those phrases if he's going to an upper note or to a lower note. We're still in uh, stanza two. Concluding some time with a couple of steel funds when they left fully loaded for Cleveland. One, two, three, four, five. And later that night when the ship's bell rang, could it be the north wind made it feeling? Four, five, six. And now they do A says two, a11, D, A says 2. Then they go into the third stanza. Now that isn't actually an intro, it's just a little interlude there. So it's interesting because in that second stanza, instead of having 12 beats at the end of each uh, couple of lines, they have 6 beats and go right into the next one. And he does this every once in a while. He'll have 12 beats at the end of a line or he'll have six beats at the end of a line. And you just have to pay attention. And if you get my lead sheet, like I said, in my book, then it will tell you exactly how many measures to play at the end of each line. Third stanza. The wind in the wires made a tattletale sound and a wave broke over the railing. 12 beats here. And every man knew, as the captain did too, t'was the witch of November come stealing. Twelve beats. The dawn came late, and the breakfast had to wait, when the gales of November came slashing. Goes up that time, only six beats. When afternoon came, it was freezing rain, in the face of a hurricane west wind. Here comes the intro. A says 2, going right to A11. D, A says 2. I do it a couple times. When the supper time came, the 
old cook is long dead Saying fellas it's too late, too rough to feed ya He goes down on that phrase, 12 beats right there At 7 p.m. the main hatchway came in A main hatchway caved in, I think is what he said He said fellas it's good, good been good to know ya 12 beats, one, two, three. The captain wired in, he had water coming in. And the good ship and crew was in peril. Two, three, four, five. And later that night, when the lights went out in sight, in the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Intro. D. A11. D. A says two. Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn minutes to hours? Twelve beats right here. One, two, three. The searches all say, the searches, searchers? The searches all say that have made Whitefish Bay, that they put fifteen more miles behind her. One, two, three, four. They might have split up, or they might have capsized. Oh, sorry, wrong chord. They might have split up, or they might have capsized. They may have broke deep into the water. Four, five, seven. All that remains is the faces and names of the waves and the sons and the daughters. And we got another intro. A11, A says two. Two more stanzas, stanza number six. Lake Huron Rose, superior scenes in the rooms of her ice water mansion. Old Michigan steams like a young man's dreams. The islands and bays are for sportsmen. Twelve beats here. And farther below, Lake Ontario takes in what Lake Erie can send. Six beats here, and iron boats go as the mariners all know with the gales of November. Remember. Then we go into an intro two times. A11 to D. Then we do it again, intro again. D, A11, D, A sus two. Number seven. In a musty old hall in Detroit they prayed. In the maritime sailors cathedral. Twelve beats. The church bell time chimed till it rang 29 times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. 12 beats. The legend lives on from a chip of water down. A big lake they call, of the big lake they call the Jagoon. 12 beats here. Superior, they said, never gives up her dead. And the gales of an old ever come. And two times when the intro goes out. A11 to D. Start again. A11, D, A sus2, A11, D. I'm just playing an A note right there, fifth fret, E string. Gordon Lightfoot passed away just three days ago, and I thought I would teach this particular song. Thanks for being here. I'm Hal. This is Quail Studios Guitar and Keys. And if you want to support me in my work, you can go to Subscribestar or to Patreon. Send me an email at lessonswithhal at gmail.com. In the description, you'll find links to how you can support me and also you can make a donation at PayPal to get my book. And also you can get my book with subscriptions to the other places too. Uh, 
That's all I have for you today. Thanks. Bye.